Hello Arnett, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Tori and today I have an update for the Throwback 30 Project Fan. This project was curated by Jessica Lee and this is a fantastic ladies collab. This started July 28th, 2022 and will end July 28th, 2023. <clears throat> so let's just jump into it with the empties. For the prompt budget beauty, I picked the Essence Micro Precise Brow Pencil in light brown. Since the last update, it was used three times and it was completely finished on the 18th of February. I enjoyed this a lot. Um, I have not repurchased this one exactly, but I definitely do want to repurchase this one in the future. And then the other goal that was hit was for the Mean Girls Quotes Project Pan. And the prompt was, I'm a mouse, duh. So something mouse themed or color. So I picked the Etude House Tom and Jerry Eyeshadow in Nibbles Toffee. My goal with the shade was to use it 15 times. Since the last update, it needed six uses. And those six uses were completed on March 15th. Very happy that this is now rolled out. So now I'm just going to jump in from the top with everything that is remaining. And there, there's still a handful of items. So starting us off for 12 Days of Christmas, I have the Maid's Cafe palette. My goal is to hit pan on Masaki up here. Since the last update, I've only used it twice. I haven't been reaching for this eyeshadow palette at all. It has not been on my list. Next, I'm disappointed in this one as well. For 50 Shades of Pink, I have the Midas Cosmetics Neon Pink Pigment. My goal is to use it five times. I haven't used it. I've been using other pigments, but I haven't reached for the pink one. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to have to use it as blush to hit those five goals, the five uses. Um, so hopefully that can happen by the next update. Hopefully. Hopefully. Next, for 50 Shades of Purple, I have the Lime Crime Venus Liner in Lavender. My goal in this project is to use this 30 times. Since the last update, it was only used twice, so I have 25 more uses left to go. I need to hurry up with this goal because it's slowly starting to dry out. So, I need to keep this front and center. Next, for 7 Deadly Pans, I picked... The eye, I picked the prompt sloth. There you go. And the eyeshadow I picked is from the ABH Riviera palette. And I picked the eyeshadow estate. My goal is to use estate 15 times. Since the last update, I only used it once. 11 uses left to go. Even though this look is semi-neutral today, I didn't, I didn't use any Project Pan eyeshadows for the neutral part of this look. Only for the greens. This one... I lost for a hot minute. I don't know how, but I've lost a couple items recently. Um, don't know where they could have went, but a couple are missing. And this one was one of them, but then I found it. For Alice in Wonder Pan, I picked the prompt Alice, so something that is childlike. I picked this glam liner in pink. My goal is to use it 15 times. Since last update, I used it once as six more uses left to go. I probably would have finished it because even though it's pink, it has the green duochrome. I would have hit that goal if I didn't lose it. I don't know how I did it. I really don't. Next for Beauty A to Z, I picked the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Rockstar. My goal is to finish it. I don't know if that's actually going to happen. Since the last update, I've used it twice. I've forgotten about it. But some of these other items have been getting loved. So next, I'm just going to talk about all the prompts that relate to the Zodiac palette. So the first prompt we're going to talk about is the Birthstone Beauties. I picked December, so I went with Tanzanite for the gemstone instead of turquoise. So I'm focusing on Aquarius. For this prompt, Aquarius needs to be used 15 times. It, however, has not been used for this prompt. As a whole... This uh, palette is in for tiny pans, where once again, the goal is to hit 15 uses on every single shade. So I'm just going to run down from the top to the bottom how many uses they have left because my notes are a little messy. So 
Starting us off with Aries. Aries has 14 uses left. Taurus has 8 uses left. Gemini has 12. Cancer has 12. Leo has 13. Virgo has 11. Libra has 14. Scorpio has 14. Sagittarius has 14. Capricorn has 6. And then Aquarius and Pisces have never been used. So... Since the last update, I'm very happy that, like, the pinks, like Libra and Scorpio, that was their first use, finally. And Capricorn is close to being rolled out. However, Capricorn is also in for the Zodiac Project Pan prompt. So for that, I picked Capricorn, um, and my goal is to hit Pan in Capricorn. You, you, you can't even see a dip. It's getting the use, but no dip. So, slow progress, but very excited with the progress on Capricorn and the fact that almost every single shade has been touched. So, steps in the right direction. Next, I've been loving on this item. This is for Food for Thought. I picked the Too Faced Papaya Pop Blush. Now, my goal is to hit pan. We'll see if that actually happens. But since the last update, I did use this five times. I have enjoyed it. And, yeah. I reach for it a lot on my makeup days. I almost was gonna reach for it today, but I reached for something else instead. This one, however, might be a focus item for next month. For I Heart the 90s, I picked the prompt butterfly clips, so something with cute packaging. So I picked the Too Faced Love Flush Blush in Baby Love. My goal is to use this item 30 times. Since the last update, I used it once. It has 22 more uses left to go. I kind of want to make this the focus shade next month. Instead of Papaya Pop, so I can at least get one more thing out. I'll do a recap of what I want to really focus on at the end of this video. Next four, let's get loose. I picked the Medusa's Makeup Eye Dust in Full Moon. This is a white to pink pigment. Uh, since the last update, I used it three times. It has five more uses left to go. I really hope I can also get this one out by the next update. Next for lip service, I have the Ulta Liquid Lipstick. Since the last update, I used it twice. It is still thriving, vibing, living its best life. This, I forgot, was in this project. I don't know what project I thought it was in, but I didn't think it was in this one. For Nightmare on Panning, I picked the prompt Scream, an item that made you scream with delight. So I have the Becca Highlighter and Prismatic Amethyst. My goal is to use it 30 times. Since the last update, it hasn't been used. There's 26 more uses left to go. Next, for Panna's Oldest Time, I pulled in my Chocolate Bonbons Too Faced palette. I've used this twice since the last update, but I am kind of tired of counting each shade and kind of gave up in that aspect. Um, so, yeah, my goal is just to reach for it at least once every month. Very slow and steady, but that's fine. This this uh, next item I also am a little disappointed on myself in because I feel like I should be using it because I have it always right in front of me, but I don't use it that much. For the prompt, Pan of Dinosaurs, I picked Triceratops. So something that plays well with others. So I picked this whole Urban Decay John michel Basquiat face gallery palette. My goal is to use every single shade that's in here 30 times. Since the last update, starting with Jawbone, the contour, I've used it twice, so it's 22 uses remaining. Noho, the blush, was used once, so it's 26 uses remaining. And then Now's the Time was used twice, so it also has 22 uses remaining. I need to step it up with this one. Next, for the skin is in, I have the Lin Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. Since the last update, I've used it three times, but I don't use too much of it, so it is still here. This next item is in my bathroom, and that is for the That's Expensive Project Pan. I picked a Tatcha cleanser. Since the last update, I've used it four times. Um, there are some still left in there, so it could be done by next month. might take another month. And then the last two items are ones that have gone missing. I don't know where they are. So those are for the prompts 
that's so 2000s i picked the prompt my lip gloss is popping and i picked the color pop sailor moon lip gloss since the last update i used it five times but i don't know where i misplaced it to um and then the other prompt is for golden girls so i picked the prompt cheesecake something in sweet packaging or small sweet so i picked a macaroon raspberry lip balm since the last update i haven't used it but I also now can't find it. It was on my desk and has now disappeared. Where could it disappear to? I don't know. Was there some foul play by the cats? Probably. Um, but yeah, I don't know where they are. So let's just talk real quick about what I'm going to focus on for next month. I think these four items are definitely going to be my attack items, starting off with the uh, glitter liner because I can wear this with any green looks I want to do. And I also do want to try and do a pink look. Try. And then a similar vein, the purple lavender liner will go good with green looks. It would even go good with this look today. So I might throw it on after, but I really need to work on this because it's starting to really get crusty. And if it, you know, dries out on me, I'm going to be very sad. Too Faced Blush. I have too many blushes currently in projects and I really need to focus on one. So I would like to get this one out of the way so then I don't feel guilty using Papaya Pop. And then last but not least, Full Moon. I've been using this as an inner corner highlight but also as highlighter. So hopefully the five uses will actually be finished by the next update. Those are my goals. Um, I think they're doable, especially the monthly goals, but yeah, I just got to keep wearing makeup. I got to keep it up. As always, don't forget to check out everyone else who does this project. They will be listed in the master list down below. And I hope you have an amazing day or night whenever you're watching this. Peace out, Girl Scout.